This video will go over basic operation and setup methods for moisture and density testing with cough meter M1. Before powering on, make sure that no other objects are touching M1 and that the chamber is empty. Starting the device with anything inside may affect the accuracy of the density measurements. When moving M1, do not hold it by the chamber and instead lift from the base. Before testing, calibrate for moisture content measurement. This is the standard material provided for calibrating moisture content specifically for green coffee beans. Once opened, it must be returned to the bag within 5 minutes, otherwise it may change color or deteriorate, making it invalid. It's recommended to calibrate once a week, though you can adjust based on your usage. Turn on M1 while the chamber is empty. Place the bean sweeper on top and pour in the standard material. Rotate the bean sweeper clockwise to level the sample surface. Remove excess beans like this. After leveling, remove the bean sweeper. Swipe from left to right on the screen to open the menu page, then tap Calibrate. Enter the value printed on the calibration material package. Since the sample is for green coffee calibration, select Green Beans as the calibration type. Tap Calibrate to complete. If you need to calibrate for roasted beans, parchment coffee, or dried fruit, you'll need to find a known moisture sample as a reference since only the standard material for green coffee is provided. During the entire measurement process, leave M1 on a flat surface and make sure no other objects are touching it. Power on with an empty chamber. If you have just completed calibration, you can skip this step. First, manually select the type of sample you want to measure from the top left corner of the home screen. Tap 0 on the home screen to zero the weight, ensuring accurate measurement. Now you're ready to begin. Place the bean sweeper on top and pour in your sample. Rotate the bean sweeper clockwise to level the sample surface. Remove any excess beans. After leveling, remove the bean sweeper. Check if there are any gaps in the chamber. If so, top up with a few more beans. Press the button to test. Once the results are displayed, the measurement is complete. After testing, use the provided cleaning brush to clean the chamber. Do not use steel wool or other hard materials to clean the inner chamber or the device body. If you see a prompt stating weight too low, abnormal result, or NA, empty the chamber, tap 0, and try measuring again. If the moisture reading seems off, Make sure the sample was evenly distributed and not compressed when added. If M1 is not connecting to the app, check that Bluetooth is turned on in the device settings. Also ensure that Bluetooth and location services are enabled on your phone. Bluetooth connection is enabled by default. When connecting to the app to record data, make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Auto power off can be set to never, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, or 10 minutes. Set a suitable duration based on your usage habits. Device information allows you to view M1's serial number and current version number. Scan the QR code to download the app and save data. If the app has already been downloaded, open it and tap the scan icon in the upper right corner. Scan the QR code from the device information page and connect with the app. Swipe from left to right to return to the main interface. On the main interface, swipe left to view your test history. There are multiple ways to download the app. Scan the QR code on the card inside the packaging, or search for DFood Cafe in the App Store to download it directly. Before connecting, check whether Bluetooth is enabled on M1. Tap Menu, Settings, and turn on Bluetooth. Also make sure your phone's location services and Bluetooth are turned on. When the app is running and M1 is powered on, the app will automatically detect M1 and display a pop-up window. Tap Connect to complete the connection. If the pop-up does not appear, you can also go to the Me tab on the bottom right, 
tap Bluetooth and manually search for the device name. Then tap to connect. On the Me tab, tap Bluetooth. Tap the product name to view the firmware version and to perform an update. Tap the Me tab, make sure M1 is powered on and connected to the app, then tap Synchronize Data. The app will handle the rest. After use, Clean the inside of the chamber and main unit with a brush to remove any residue, as it may affect measurement accuracy. Do not use steel wool or other abrasive materials to clean the chamber or the device body.